So in this short video, we're going to have an introduction to non-homogeneous linear equations. So let's start with some definitions. Remember that a particular solution, and we put a subscript p on that, is a function which is free of parameters and satisfies our differential equation. So you can take any linear combination of solutions to the homogeneous equation, so the corresponding homogeneous equation, and any particular solution, and you'll get another particular solution. So here we've got another particular solution. You say, hey, this has parameters in it. Well, we're going to choose values for C1, C2, Cn. So we're going to eliminate those parameters. And the reason why this is going to be a, another particular solution is because if I, I put the linear combination that I've chosen from the homogeneous solutions, if I put those into the differential equation, the right-hand side is going to be 0. And then the y sub p will satisfy the non-homogeneous differential equation. So this new particular solution is also a, a satisfying the differential equation. Now, we call this solution to the homogeneous equation. Remember, we're going to pick some uh, C1 through Cn, the, a complementary solution. It's not the complementary solution. I guess if we write it with the parameters, that would be the most general form of our complementary solution. And we just denote that by putting y with a subscript of c. So in other words, our general solution is any complementary solution plus any particular solution. And here's an example then. Uh, we're given a particular solution to this third order differential equation. It's negative 11 twelfths minus 1 half x. So we look at the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. It has a general solution with three terms. And we're calling that our complementary solution. So the general solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation would be the sum of our complementary solution and our particular solution. Now there is also a superposition formula for non-homogeneous equations. It's more complicated because the right-hand side in a non-homogeneous uh, differential equation is not zero. It's some function g. So if I have k particular solutions, each one of those particular solutions are going to correspond to different right-hand side functions. But what I can say then is if I take a, a, the sum of those particular solutions, it's going to solve the differential equation where I have the sum of the corresponding functions on the right-hand side. And in fact, it doesn't have to be just the sum of those particular solutions. I could take any linear combination of those particular solutions, but then the right-hand side has to be a linear combination of the g functions using the same coefficients. So some further notes about non-homogeneous uh, uh, systems. So we could have a dynamical system uh, whose model is a, a linear nth order differential equation. Uh, we can refer to that as an nth order linear system. So studying dynamical systems uh, is a field on its own. You can make your career out of that. The uh, time, dependent func time dependent functions, which are the solution function and its derivatives are called the state variables. If we specify a particular value of t, um, that describes the state of the system. 
So a very simple system that we have already seen would be a, a either um, a system consisting of multiple mixture tanks, multiple salt tanks, or it could be a network of circuits. Uh, the right hand side function is called the input function or the uh, forcing function. And the solution that you get is called the output function or the response function. So this is nice terminology to know when we look at applications of non-homogeneous differential equations.